Hello friends. So this week I sat down to make a list of my favorite small town romances. And as I was making this list, I passed over one and I was like, this is a small town romance, but also a sports romance. And then I started making a list of my favorite sports romances. And that one was a little bit longer. So we're going to go with that one for this week. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the one that actually made me think of this list. I don't actually have the first one in the series, but it is the Field Party series by Abby Glines. Uh, this is a YA football romance series. Um, each book is about a different member of the high school football team and uh, kind of their journey on... Some of them is their journey on discovering kind of who they are like outside of football and some of them are figuring out things that they've <clears throat> they've known in the past may not be exactly how like what happened and so it's growing up it's life it's Abby Glines and she uh, tears your heart out and puts it all back together in each book basically. <laughs> But these are, again, these are football romances, and I adore them to pieces. I adore Abby Glines to pieces. Um, I don't have the first one. This one is the second one. The fifth one is about to come out, I believe, at the end of August. I need to look that up so I can pre-order it, because I pre-order all of these. I love them. How many times am I going to say that in this video? <laughs> the next book I have is a series, and it's spin-off series. And that is the Off Campus series and the Briar U series by L. Kennedy. These are hockey romances. Um, the Off Campus series is more, I guess you could say that. It's more focused on the actual hockey players. And then the Briar U series <clears throat> is... It still focuses on the hockey players, but I feel like it does a better job of also, like, balancing out the girl and boy perspective. You get both hero and heroine perspectives in each series, but I, I don't know if it's just because of the cover or whatever, but I feel like you get a more, ooh, you get a more, like, female aspect in the Briar U series. That's, pro that's probably just me, like, projecting the cover change onto the series, but these are hockey romances. They are, well, they're quite steamy, so just warning, I guess. I do love both of these series. These are the first books in the series. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Like, honestly, L. Kennedy series are amazing, and I love both of these. The next two books that I have are actually standalones by the same author, and I only actually own one. I don't own the the physical copy of this other one yet. I borrowed it from my sister. That one is Culty by Mariana Zapata. This is a slow burn soccer romance. And it's actually, well, they're both soccer players, but it's actually the, the heroine that is the, like, current soccer player. And the hero is somebody that is has been, I don't know if he's technically retired, but he's been kind of, like, put on the back burner like, actually playing, and he started to help coach, and he helps coach her team, and it's a slow burn, so it's a little bit of a, not really a dislike, but just kind of a healthy rivalry, kind of? I don't know how to describe it. Anyway, they slowly become friends, slowly become more. It's so good. I love Mariana Zapata to pieces. She such good slow burn. Her other book that I want to talk about is From Lukov with Love. This is figure skating and I am almost positive that this is the only figure skating romance that I've ever read so if you have any more please leave them for me down below. This is about a girl who has been figure skating her whole life and she's starting to get older and beginning to think that her career is not ever going to go the way she wants it to go. She's not ever going to get to the level of competition that she wants to get to. When one of the, Lukov, one of the male figure skaters that trains at the same place that she trains at, asks her to go into Paris figure skating with him. And she doesn't like him because he's kind of like the golden boy of figure skating. 
And so this is more of a hate to love slow burn romance. Um, starts off with Jasmine not really liking him at all. And then slowly, like, they become a team. And then they become friends. And then it becomes something more. And I loved it to pieces. I read it actually during, like, I think when most people did. During, like, the Winter Olympics the last time. So... It's so good. It's so good. I love it. I kind of want to reread it now that I'm looking at it. Because I got the paperback. I read it as an ebook originally, and then I got the paperback from a signing. And now I kind of want to reread it. Oh no. The next book I have is also, as far as I know, a standalone. Um, and that is Whatever Life Throws at You by Julie Cross. This was a total accidental find. It was a cover buy on Book Outlet. I think like the first or second time that I ordered from Book Outlet. This is about Annie who is, I think she ran track or cross country or some type of running thing. And her dad is a baseball coach and they end up having to move. I believe it was her senior year of high school. They move because he gets a coaching job with a minor league professional team where she meets where she meets Jason who is only a couple of years older than her but he is on the team that her dad coaches for and so it's a little bit of a forbidden romance they don't go like too dramatic with it um but it is a little bit in there discussed and it's a little bit of an age gap he kind of works for her father, in a sense, and that he's on the team. This book was so sweet, though. Um, I would say it's more... I'd say it's kind of right there on the cusp of a new adult, young adult genre. Um, they are older. I believe she's 17 and he's like 19 or 20. And there is... I believe, if I remember correctly, it's been so long since I read this, but if I remember correctly, there's a little bit of steaminess, but it's more of a fade to black steaminess. So it's not overly, like, in your face about it, if that's not something you enjoy, but it's so sweet, so cute. I loved these, I loved these two together as a couple. Highly, highly recommend. Next up, I have the first book in a series. I believe it's a duology and then kind of a spinoff book. But that is Dirty English by Ilsa Baden Mills. This is, I don't know what kind of sports to describe it as. He's a street fighter. He's a street fighter. I don't know what kind of sport, like I guess that is the sport. I don't even know if that's technically considered a sport, is it? I consider it, like, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you think. This is about a girl who, I don't believe she was like the naive heroine, but she was more of kind of the book smart heroine, if that makes sense. But I, he, he rescued, I need to reread this. I need to reread this so bad because I don't exactly remember what happens, but I remember really liking them together as a couple. I'm going to add this to a reread. I have so many books to read. I don't need a reread pile, but I'm probably going to make one. So the next three that I have, the final three, I don't actually have physical copies of. The first one I want to talk about is Scoring Wilder by R.S. Gray. This is a soccer romance and it is about a girl trying to make the Olympic team and again falling for the guy who comes, the professional soccer player who comes to be her coach for, I think it was the summer or the college program that she was in. I don't quite remember the details exactly, but he was the coach of something. I really enjoyed these two characters together. Um, I felt like they could have cared more about, uh, it being, like, forbidden. I felt like they could have cared more about that, but it wasn't, like, like, they did address it a little bit, and it was talked about in the book. I just felt like it could have been done more, but not to say anything against the book. I really enjoyed it. Obviously, it's in my top sports romances, so. Next one I want to talk about is a series, and that is the Rusk University series by Cora Carmack. This is a college football romance series. Each book is a different, like, individual member of the team and kind of his journey and falling in love with really smart, really badass women. And I love the heroines in this series. I love the heroes in this series. They are... Ugh, just she did such a good job of writing both 
strong female characters and also men who could deal with strong female characters. The uh, last series I want to talk about is, I believe it's called The Renegades series by Rebecca Yaros. This is, I guess like an extreme sports type situation is what you would call it. This is about three friends who, I believe they have this YouTube channel and they do like extreme stunts and everything and film it and put it, post it up online. And they've gotten this sponsorship to go on a, I believe it was like a worldwide, world, around the world cruise or something and do all these different stunts and everything. And I really enjoyed these couples. So those are my favorite sports romances. Uh, leave me a comment down below if you, if any of these are on your favorites or if you have different favorites, let me know because obviously I really enjoy sports romances and would like to read them. Um... Uh, if you have any other genres, like I said, I'm probably going to do a small town romances at some point. I just need a couple more to make it, like, worth of a video. Uh, but, yeah, if you have any more, like, kind of romance subgenres, let me know, and I can try to put together a list for those. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!